At a meeting at the Royal Palace in the Jordanian capital, King Hussein told the American Defense Secretary that Middle East peace could be achieved through an international conference held under the auspices of the United Nations. Hussein said he supported a summit with all countries directly involved in the Arab-Israeli conflict, including the Soviet Union and the Palestine Liberation Organization. Their participation is opposed by both the United States and Israel. King Hussein also reiterated that his country would seek its weapons elsewhere, including the Soviet Union, if the Americans wouldn't supply what he called Jordan's legitimate defensive requirements. In March, the Reagan administration turned down Jordan's request for 1,300 anti-aircraft missiles. 